Hello YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of our Portal playthrough. In the last episode, we got a little bit further trying to get away from the robot lady, and I am still sick. My voice is alright right now, but it will probably go out in the episode, so I apologize. Please bear with me, I'm working on it, but anyways, let's get back into these shenanigans. So, she put a robot dude here. Can't best me, though. Shit. Shit! No, no! Fuck! Stop, 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 stop! Stop! Ah, oh, fuck! Move, move, move! Fuck! Fuck you! Stop! No! Oh my god. That was fucking hard, yo. Alright. Okay. Right. <sighs> Jesus. Alright. Oh, damn. Um. Alright, here we go. Oh, shit. Wow. Can you hear me? So these are little robots that aren't set to attack yet. So am I like a criminal? Did I get put here because I'm being punished? What is the deal? Wow. Oh, over here. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's get in there. Uh, well, I broke another ladder. Good job. Huh. Nice. Look at these little robots. They're making these little dudes. But ooh, who made them? Are there other humans? Okay. Hi. Hey. Sorry. Sorry, little dude. All right. Um Look at this. It's so worn down. The entire facility is like falling apart. Over here. Okay, up. There's a path in here. The cake is a lie. Tally's. Her eye. I think her name's GLaDOS. Hello, can I help you? She's watching you. Help. Cake is a lie. The, the cake is still a lie. There's no cake. Yeah! It looks like people were drawn in- or they were driven insane. But where are the people? Where'd they go? Are they all dead? Am I the last one? What? What is happening? What? Who am I, man? Okay, gotta do some messing. Yeah! I'm good at that. Alright, cool. Ooh, another room? This is your fault. It didn't have to be like this. I'm not kidding now. Turn back or I will kill you. Well, at least she I'm came right- I'm going to kill you. And all the cake is gone. You don't even care, do you? This is your last chance. I don't care about the cake. And at least she's outright in saying she's gonna kill me now. Don't wanna be lied to anymore, GLaDOS. No more lies. Number 42 failed. Test sequence, hazard. 
the big bad jellyfish wanted. The fuck is that about? Hello? Huh. What? Big bad jellyfish? Ah. <sighs> <clears throat> this game sure does know how to make me feel creeped out, though. This is creepy. Okay. What was that? Fuck! Huh? Oh fuck! I missed. Oh shit! 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 The fuck, dude! Ugh. Come on, man! No. Okay. There we go. What? The fuck happened there? Huh? Huh? Stop, stop, stop. Bad, 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 bad. Oh. What do I do? What do I do? Oh, oh, the glass. The glass. Come on, come on. Go! Go! Okay. So I thought that I had to get it to shoot itself. It turns out I needed to get it to shoot the glass. My bad. My bad there. I thought that I had to get it to shoot itself. Okay. Moving on. That was a new one. Hey. Want to say anything to me? That's fine. I was a new robo over here. Okay. I gotta get it to destroy the glass, don't I? Hi. Ugh. Go! Yeah, buddy. Awesome. Oh, oh. How in the world do I crouch jump? I'm not good at crouch jumping, man. I need something to stand on. Excuse me! One second. I need a chair real quick. Sorry. Sorry to bother you. Where am I now? I am lost. Oh! Shit! Gotta go. Later. Alright. We got a chair. Put that down. Careful, careful. It's no companion cube, but it will work. Huh. Come on. Get in there. Come on! Come on, what the fuck? Come on, come on, come on. There you go! Okay, we're in. Cool. Here we go! Um. Alright. I don't want to be sliced, so I'm gonna go and not die. Sounds like a good, uh, thing to do to me. Cool. I hear water. It's not water. Eee. What the fuck is this goop? There's the goop? So is it just shit? What is it? Well, why can't it kill me? Whoops. Get up. It's the daisies. Alright. Mmm. 
pretty gross. I'm kind of just sliding around. I can't jump. Um. Go! What the fuck? Oh my god. Kill it. All right. It's time, baby. It's time. Here we go. Shit. Hey, bitch. Uh oh, indeed. Hey, yeah. I'm destroyer of robos. Nap time, bitch! Oh. Where did my sick beats go? Later! How's your mother? Fuck you. Ha! Professional robots there. Hmm. Gonna get the drop on you. Hup! Oh! Goodbye. All right, so I guess we just go ahead and vamos and vamos. Uh, and then we're here, like planned, of course. Um, I don't, I don't do anything unless it's planned. Shit. Bye. Yeah, you better shut down, bitch. Um, what are we doing here? I guess we just have to get up. Alright, we probably have to launch then. Uh, launch myself up there. No big deal. I do it all the time. All day, every day. It's fine. There right. we go. And we're in. I'm in, bitch. All right, what's up? What's up? What's good? What's good? What's over here? Nothing, as as I expected. Excuse me. Oh, there's something up there. I believe. No. Nope. Oh, oh, oh. Up there. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Hey, oh. Hello. Whoa. This is spooky. I'm in. Hello, my darling. Black Mesa, dollars and cents. Huh. And is this legal, what they're doing to people? The tests and everything? That can't be legal, right? Whoa. What in God's name is that? What in sweet baby Jesus' name is that? Whoa. What the hell? Well, you found me. Congratulations. Was it worth it? Because despite your violent behavior, the only thing you've managed to break so far is my heart. Maybe you could settle for that and we'll just call it a day. I guess we both know that isn't going to happen. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. Okay. Deploying surprise in five, four. Time out for a second. That wasn't supposed to happen. Do you see that thing that fell out of me? What is that? 
It's not the surprise. I've never seen it before. Never mind. It's a mystery I'll solve later. By myself. Because you'll be dead. Where are you taking that thing? I don't know. I wouldn't bother with that thing. My guess is that touching it will just make your life even worse somehow. I'm gonna put it somewhere. I don't know. I don't want to tell you your business, but if it were me, I'd leave that thing alone. I don't, I don't know. I just want to... Do you think I'm trying to trick you with reverse psychology? I mean, seriously now. I'm gonna put it in the incinerator. Okay, fine. Do touch it. Pick it up and just stuff it back into me. No. I'm gonna put honest. it... Neither one of us knows what that thing does. Just put it in the corner, and I'll deal with it later. I'm gonna... I'm gonna incinerate it. That thing is probably some kind of raw sewage Goodbye. container. Goodbye! Go ahead Goodbye. and face all over it. Fuck! Fuck! How did I fuck that up? Fuck! Maybe you should marry that thing since you love it so much. Shh, don't give Do me you sass! you marry it? Well, I won't let you. How does that feel? Fuck you! Fuck you and everything you've done to me! You're kidding me. Did you just set that aperture science thing we don't know what it does into an aperture science emergency intelligence incinerator? That has got to be the dumbest thing that will whoa 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 whoa. <laughs> Good news. I figured out what that thing you just incinerated did. It was a morality core they installed after I flooded the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin to make me stop flooding the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin. So get comfortable while I warm up the neurotoxin emitters. Huh. What did you do? That core may have had some ancillary responsibilities. I can't shut off the turret defenses. Oh well. If you want my advice, you should just lie down in front of a rocket. Trust me. It'll be a lot less painful than the neurotoxin. Okay, these dudes. Right. Keep doing whatever it is you think you're doing. Killing you and giving you good advice aren't mutually exclusive. The rocket really is the way to go. Goodbye! That thing you point out isn't important to me. Fuck. It's the fluid catalytic cracking in it. It makes you for orphans. Goodbye! Nice job breaking it, hero. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This isn't brave. It's murder. What did I ever do to you? The difference between us is that I can feel pain. What is that? You don't even what care, do you? That little thing is talking. I don't know what I'm doing. Goodbye! Did you hear me? <laughs> you think you're doing some damage? Two plus two is. In base four, I'm fine. I let you survive this. Goodbye. I was curious about it. You managed to destroy that part of me. Unfortunately, as much as I'd love to now, I can't get the neurotoxin into your Fuck. head any faster. I'd just like to point out that you were given every opportunity to succeed. There was even going to be a party for you. A big party that all your friends were invited to. I invited your best friend, the companion cube. Of course, he couldn't come because you murdered him. All Shut up! Other friends couldn't come either because you don't have any other friends because of how unlikable you are. It says so right here in your personnel file. Unlikable. Stop! A bitter, unlikable owner whose passage shall not be warned. Shall not be warned. Leave me alone! Exactly what it says. Very I... Formal. She Very flooded? Official. It also says you were adopted. So Go! Die! Neurotoxin. <laughs> so deadly. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> Kidding. Kill her! Kill her robot! The deadly was in massive Fuck. sarcasm core. I could take a bath in this stuff, put it on cereal, rub it right into my eyes. Honestly, it's not deadly to me. Kill her! I find its deadliness a lot less funny. Who's gonna make um. the cake when I'm gone? Oh my god, she's so scary. Okay. You're wasting your time. 
Come on. Oh. Got it. The last thing you want to do is hurt me. Oh god. Oh. This one's scary. I don't have to be a doctor to kill you. I don't even know how to commentate on this. She's so rude. Die. What's going on out there will make you wish. Back in here, I have an infinite capacity for knowledge. And I am not sure what's going on outside. All I know is I'm going to find the truth. I know. Right? I know. No, no. What? No, no, no! Don't take me back! Is that a cake? And my companion cube. This was a triumph I'm making a note here Huge success It's hard to overstate my satisfaction Aperture science We do what we must because we can For the good of all of us Except the ones who are dead But there's no sense crying over every mistake You just keep on trying till you run out of cake And the science gets done And you make a neat gun For the people who are still alive I'm not even angry I'm being so Awkward. And do every piece into a fire. Um, I guess I did do that.
Well, oh, there's my companion cube right there. <laughs> Excuse me, I had a little coughing attack there at the end. But, <coughs> Excuse me. I guess that was Portal. So, what I gather from this game is a big mind fuck. My mind is fucked. That's, that's it. It fucked my mind real hard. A robot called GLaDOS was in charge of a facility for testing humans and advancing some kind of science, I guess? And she flooded most of the lab with neurotoxin that killed a lot of people, so they installed a morality thing in her. And a lot of people were gone. I assume they all died by the neurotoxin. I assume she killed them all. And then she killed all the test subjects, and... And then I got there, and, and I destroyed the morality thing, and then I killed her. <coughs> <coughs> but she's still alive. And then I, 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 I got taken out of the facility. It was all exploded and destroyed. Everything was gone. And then a robot took my position after it blew up, and I was passed out as a submission position. And he took me back into the lab. So I didn't actually get out. GLaDOS didn't actually die. She was singing at the end, the outro. Or the, uh, credits. The credits. Excuse me. Okay, I'm back. I think I'm good now. I have a cough drop in my mouth. The ending of the game just got me so worked up that I couldn't stop coughing. I started, co I started having coughing attacks, so... Fantastic game. Fantastic story. I didn't know what to expect from this game. I thought it was just a bunch of puzzle rooms, but it had a story. It was there, and it has a lot more to it. I don't even know what Black Mesa is. I don't really know what Aperture, Aperture Science is trying to do. I just kind of went along with the game. Um, I know there's a webcomic I'm supposed to read before I do Portal 2, so I will do that, but uh, seriously, fantastic game. I love it. This is one of my favorite games, I can say without a doubt. Uh, this is one of my favorite games. Um, and the ending scene, her singing in the credits, that was great. And then especially, like, it's showing you the cake, the companion cubes, and what I'm assuming are more GLaDOS. Uh, the little balls that lit up. I'm assuming that's more of her. Uh, showing them light up, and then showing the little pincer turning off the candle. That was fantastic. That was great. Great setup for another game. I'm assuming Portal 2 is going to be based on uh, me, the, the main character again. I think her name is Shell. I think that's what I caught. Um, I'm assuming it's her... Uh, since she got dragged back into the lab, uh, I'm assuming it's just gonna be her going through more puzzles, trying to escape or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but I will be playing through Portal 2 eventually. And here comes my review. So, graphics-wise, this game is old, and it's in the, uh, Valve, uh, Half-Life engine, I believe is what, uh, this is. So it, it's kind of limited, and it's been overdone, or it's not overdone, it's been used a lot in a lot of different games, but I still think it's beautiful. I still really enjoy the graphics that have outputs into their, their games. I really like them, so I'm going to give it 10. Audio in this game is fantastic, 10 out of 10. From you walking around to the sound of the portal gun to uh, GLaDOS talking through radios, it was all fantastic. It all set everything up to be what it was, to be creepy, to be cool, to be something that nobody else has like really experienced because I don't think there's going to be another game like Portal. Obviously Portal 2, but that's not what I mean. Like, I don't think there's going to be another game that can do this. Um, something that comes to mind when I think of Portal now that I played through it is the Stanley Parable uh, with basically a narrator trying to get into your head, trying to influence the player, trying to freak you out, stuff like that, but I don't think it's going to, I don't think any other game out there to be created even, will uh, come up to the bar with matching Portal and what Portal has. <coughs> Controls are perfectly fine, real easy. Uh, if you played Gmod or Half-Life, it's it's really basic. Um, just really, really, it felt really good to have the Portal gun. The shooting felt nice. Uh, there really wasn't any part where the game was uh, glitching out or limiting me from progressing and stuff like that, so that was fantastic. I really appreciated that. The story. <laughs> now that's a 10 out of 10, for sure. At first playing through this game, uh, I thought it was just gonna be, you know, that we get to the end and that's the end of the testing. And then all of a sudden, like around episode four, I believe, or five, I can't remember exactly, everything just started going to shit. And then there was a story and everything started coming 
uh, coming to you found out, oh, it's GLaDOS behind all this stuff. There's no humans here. She killed all of them. She's trying to kill you. She's just, just messing with you. She's just trying to do what she wants to do and stuff like that, and she's evil. And then it was all just coming around. All of these test subjects that got lost in the in the vents or the ones that she killed that were trying to get away. It just all started coming back, and apparently we're the only ones that got, got out, but we got pulled back in, so it doesn't really matter. But 100% 10 out of 10 in this game. Seriously fantastic. I had no idea what to expect going into this again, and what I got was awesome. I'm super happy with this. I'm super happy with uh, how I played it. I'm super happy with how everything went. There really wasn't a point in the game where I was stuck, and that's great. A puzzle game that can be puzzling but not keep you from progressing is fantastic in my book, and Portal hits all of those great game qualities on the head <coughs> with the hammer. <laughs> This game is available for 10 US dollars on Steam. Please check it out, guys. I know it's kind of old. A lot of people already played it, but if you haven't, really just play through it. It's an enjoyable experience, experience, even if you've already seen somebody play through it, because just the atmosphere that the game puts you in, the environment, all the stuff that happens, it really, it really makes you feel small, makes you feel stressed, it makes you feel like everything is actually happening, and that's really good. It's, it's a really fantastic game. I recommend it to a lot, anybody who wants a puzzly game or a really creepy atmospheric game that's not horror, because that's what I look for in games, because I don't particularly like to play horror games, but I do enjoy dark, creepy atmospheres, so. 10 out of 10, guys. Please check this game out. There will be a link to the Portal webpage, uh, to Valve's main page, and to the Steam Store page. Please check them out. Valve has done a lot of other games. As you know, they've done Left 4 Dead, uh, Half-Life, uh, 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 Gary's Mod. I'm gonna check that, but I'm gonna be playing a game on Fridays between Portal and Portal 2, so we'll see, uh, we'll just, we just gotta really see how it plays out, but I'll be back next week with a new game for you guys, and hopefully it'll be something that you enjoy, so. Thank you guys to everybody who watched this series, thank you to everybody who commented, giving me tips, giving me, uh, information about the world, I really appreciate it, and thank you for not giving me any spoilers, uh, spoilers get removed, by the way, immediately, guys, so, be careful about what you post into the comments there, uh, anyways, thank you so much for being here, it was a wild ride, I really enjoyed it, and, yeah, 10 out of 10 would play again, probably will play again, but, Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a like or comment down below. And if you enjoyed me, then please subscribe today for more in the future. I'm sorry about my voice and the constant coughing. We should be done by the time the new game comes out. But that's it for Portal. This is the finale. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate the support you give me. And I hope you guys can, can come, come back on next Friday for the new game. Anyways, have a fantastic day, night, wherever you guys are out there, and stay safe for the love of Jesus. I love you guys' faces. Thank you for sticking through with me on this series. Really enjoyed it. Really enjoy you. Come back. We should we should do more. We should watch more videos together. You know, hang out, get to know each other, comment a bit, send me a message. I don't know. Um. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Oh, move, move, move! Move! Oh! oh! Alright. What the fuck am I doing? Okay.